He's rising up to the surf. There he is, he's jumping right there. Pretty fish. Woo! Look at him tear it up. Oh man. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful look at that little blue marlin there. Woo! Yeah, baby! This is why I love it. The fishing platform for this trip is a 63-foot Spencer called the Sandman, captained by the infamous John Louis Dudas and owned by my good friend, Zandra. Oh, we have nice. ballyhoo and then teaser mackerel and mullet. The recipe for success is to have great bait and plenty of it. It's better to have too many than not enough. You don't want to run out. Trying to rig something while you're fishing, not paying attention, that's when you have messes and mistakes. Complete tackle store, we got Bass Pro Shops up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, this is like the best I've ever seen. To do it right, everybody has to click, and that's yeah. one thing with the crew that we have. But this boat, and you and this crew, man, I'm just, I'm totally pumped. Yeah, it should I mean, be a lot of fun. You know, I'm so used to live bait fishing and, you know, really simple valley hoo hook rigs. To see you guys do this always impresses me. I'm always like, what? Up to the center. Just keeps its all mouth closed and everything. It's important to keep that mouth closed. <laughs> you don't want them flipping around. And this little thing just goes out in front of it here. In the end, it'll look like this. And this, this little thing right here could catch a 250 pound blue marlin. Yep, that's all you need on that. Beautiful. I can't believe we're doing this, Louie. Yep, let's go get a bunch today. Let's do it. Are those riggers hydraulic? Nice. Riggers going down. Baits are going out. We got three flat lines out, two longs. We got a short, we got two dredges, and we have two squid chain teasers with uh, mackerel or value on the back end. Trying to draw the fish in, pull the teasers out of the way, and then pitch a bait, one of these. Or maybe it'll come up and eat one of the longs. And then here we have the uh, short clipped in, so you'll hear a snap on this one, or a snap here, a snap here. And if that doesn't happen, they'll come up and they'll be feisty up on the teasers and then we grab one of these or one of these and these baits are sitting perfectly in these tubes just stored nice and cool chill ready ready to roll left teaser get it back there get it back there i think it could be uh something small there it is all right we got a little mahi on to start we like that coming in that's a start. That's an ass slapper right there. What do you want to do, Louie? Hey, it's up to you guys. Let's throw it back. We'll wait for a bigger one. Good job, good job. Woo, we're on the board. We've got a small mahi, and that's where the blue marlin will be also, so. Putting the baits out right now for another shot at some marlin. We just started. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be a good day. He's right behind you, right behind you. When a marlin comes up and eats, you need to drop the bait back and free spool with very light thumb pressure so he doesn't feel it. Then put the rod tip low and off to the side and engage the drag. I see him jumping out there. Oh, jumping like crazy. Tearing it up Tearing out there. It up. Good going. Woo. Keep that sucker on. Hey, nice glove, James. Woo. James is ready to get him. That's the way to do it. Little blue marlin, little feisty guy. I tell you, they're a, little, they're a little meaner than the striped marlin. Yep. Couldn't get a crank there, I tried. He's in his comfort zone. There we go, now, now I got something going. There's still a lot of line out though. Okay. It's gonna, coming up now, I feel like he's gonna jump. Come on fish, get on the surface. Put on the show. Whoa, yeah baby! Right on the surface. Got to release. We got Marlon released, baby. We're winding him back up. Get a better look at him, he's going hard left. There he is, ready to transom. All right, he swam away, good job, man. That was quick work, nice work, Toe. Nice job, buddy. Woo. Let's do that again, that was fun. Wait time for the next bite always varies. So fishermen have to stay on point and focus the entire day and never take their eye off the prize. The bite happens in the blink of an eye, so your reaction time needs to be just as fast. Oh, nice. We got a hard runner, hard charger. 
A lot of power there. Saw a big boil on the surface and some flashing. I couldn't see anything for sure for a billfish. Definitely ran a lot of line out though. Yeah, maybe a tuna or a wahoo? Here it comes guys, right here. Tuna, we got sashimi. Go ahead and get him, James. Pretty fish. That's a lot of power, huh? The Dominican Republic shores are caressed by the Atlantic Ocean to the north and the Caribbean Sea to the south. Today, we're fishing approximately 25 miles off the coast of Punta Cana. In the first hour of fishing, we caught and released our target species, a blue marlin. Marlin feed predominantly on tuna and mahi, so if you're not catching marlin, you're most likely to catch the latter. Apparently, marlin and humans like the same food. Ooh, nice. Good going, gang. Nice job. Something else to add to the pot. That's a pretty decent mahi. Woo, a jumper. Second time's a charm. Swanger. <laughs> Look up again. This one's a little bigger. Hey, oh, look at that in the dorsal. We get them in the mouth, in the dorsal. Next time we get them in the tuchus. Another nice one. Oh! That's a beauty. Carlos Hidalgo stepping in. That's got to be a big mahi. All right, we got Carlos Hidalgo, everybody. Realtor to the stars at Capcana. Fighting a big mahi. That looks nice. I'm going to gap him for you. It's going to be a team effort. Look at the head on that son of a Got him right in the, right in the face. That's how you do it, right in the lips. There we go, now you got the big boy. Woo! Great job, everybody, nice variety. We had an extremely successful day on the water with one of the best fishing teams in the world. And while filleting the big mahi, I couldn't help but think what was to come, as this was only the first day of fishing. Day two of fishing was finally here, and I was pumped. This has to be one of the best places in the world to catch blue marlin. Especially for light tackle, light fishing line. Fishing right. 30 and 40 pound test line. Yeah. And catching fish that are put on a great show, and it's a lot of fun catching them. It's a real treat to be fishing with my old friend, Captain John Louis Dudas. I've been friends with and competed against him in billfish tournaments for close to 30 years. He is highly regarded as one of the most accomplished captains in the entire sport fishing industry. Only about 17 miles from the resort. It's calm. This is like one of the calmest Dominican days I've seen. It is five minutes to nine, and the reels are ready to wind. There's a fish there, it's definitely a marlin. He's way outside of it now. Uh, he's tailing right down sea. I see him. Tight. That didn't take long. Just hooked one here. Louie has fished all over the world, and it's no coincidence that he consistently puts his team on the fish and in the top spot. Nice, nice fish. Bigger fish than yesterday, huh? Yeah, there was definitely one more there, too. After we hook up, we back down on the fish to close the gap. How you doing, Pete? 100% game. I don't know where he's going to pop up, but I got half the line back. All right. I think he's just laying down there about 150 feet down. All right. Let's keep it rolling here. During the fight, Marlin's moves are very unpredictable. So my job is to continue to gain line by making short pumps, keeping the line tight at all times. He's rising up to the surf. There he is, he's jumping right there. Pretty fish. Woo! Look at him tear it up. Oh, man. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful look at that little marlin there. Woo yeah, baby. This is why I love it. Still going. He's putting on a show. Still going. 
We got a show motor. I think he wants to jump in the boat. I think so. I'm going to get ready to duck. Great job, everybody. Beautiful fish. Let's take a look at him, man. Very lit. Very lit. Get him in that clean water. Look at that. I'll tell you what, they can be big, they can be small, but they all fight like freaking freight trains. Ready with that tag. Let him go. Nice job, dude. Good job. Excellent. That was good stuff. There he goes. Can you believe he's filming a free swimming marlin right now? Yeah, yeah. No. Right long! It's him, he's chasing it. Come on, eat it, you Right behind it, right behind it. Come on, eat it. There he is. I'm on. Wow, dude, this is Dominican Republic on fire. He's gonna come up jumping. He's gonna work out in today. How big is this one, Louie? Uh, he looked like about a buck 50 or something, buck 25. Good sized fish. Shaking, shaking, coming up. Shaking, wagging hard. When leadering a marlin up to the boat, you'll want to do it gingerly, yet with a purpose. We also like to do our part for billfish conservation, and tagging these beautiful creatures is our duty as responsible fishermen. Each tag has a specific number, and we enter this number as well as the size of the fish, location caught, and condition upon release. So when the next angler recaptures the tagged fish, they should report the updated info. We then cut the leader without touching the fish, and this has proven to be a very effective method for ensuring a healthy release. Woo!